Disclaimer, if any of these books are your favorites, I'm sorry, I apologize, but these are just my thoughts on these books. And hello, my bookish besties. So we're back for yet another video. I am still on the dreamy island um, of Turks and Caicos. I'm on a cruise with my man, my man, my man, and he took me on a cruise. So while I'm cruising in the Caribbean, I wanted to make sure I had some videos for y'all. So these are pre-recorded, but hope you guys enjoy. To catch a vibe, I do have some views of Turks and Caicos, Providence in the background. So you guys can kind of feel like you're with me because right now I'm probably still on the beach, taking shots, drinking margaritas with my Kindle. By this point, you know what Kindle I bought with me. I don't know right now which Kindle I'm bringing. But anyway, that's neither here nor there. Today's video is exactly what the title says. I'm going to be telling you guys the books that I gave one star and why. So I try not to really show a lot of love to the books I did not like because you guys may like them. But since the last video you guys saw was me sharing some of my excuse me, five-star reads, I was like, let's switch it up and show you guys some of my one-star reads and let you know why I rated them one star. I do have good reads up on my laptop, so if I'm looking that way, that is what I'm looking at. And we're just going to jump right into the video. I don't have a lot. I don't have a lot of books that I've read as of late that I rated one star, but I do have some. So I wanted to just let y'all know about them. So let's jump right into it. The first book that I rated one star, which I actually own, let me grab it. An Unwanted Guest by Sherry Lapina. So the premise of this book sounds so, so good. It's wintry, it's snowing, it's at a inn. Sounds like the perfect weekend for like relaxation, you know, maybe even some romance. And yeah, I guess like a storm comes and um, a storm comes and the power gets cut off and then one person ends up dead and then another person ends up dead and we're trying to figure out obviously who and killing all these people so for me the premise sounds real good definitely my vibe my vibe for sure but i kind of felt like we were just going in circles and circles and circles like I do like forced proximity books and everything like that. Like, I like being deserted on an island, in a hotel, in an inn. I like those type of books. But for me, this just was lackluster. Like, I felt like we kept going around in circles. Like, I'm trying to get down to it. I'm trying to figure out who's the killer. But I just felt like we just kept going in circles. Like, it could only be so many people. It could only be so many people. I think it was like six people. And I don't know. I just did not like it because, again, I just... Just felt like it was drug out we it, it was so simple to kind of eliminate who was where when you're in a hotel you're either in your room you're either down together because like i said there was no electricity so most of the time they were together so an on one i guess by sherry lapina i gave it a one star disclaimer if any of these books are your favorites i'm sorry i apologize but these are just my thoughts on these books and yeah i did not enjoy an unwanted guest by sherry lapina i actually need to give this to a little free library which i will do very soon but yeah i didn't enjoy this book if y'all liked it let me know down below the next book I don't own, I'll be popping pictures up of the books I don't own, which will probably be all of them because I don't like them. I actually forgot that I had this book, so now I need to donate it. But the next book I did not like, I gave one star was You Shouldn't Have Come Here by Geneva Rose. As y'all know, Geneva Rose is a hit or miss author for me. I enjoyed The Perfect Marriage so much, so I continuously give her a chance to try to find that feeling again. But after I read... um. Her other books, they're just lackluster. The most recent one I read was Homeless Where the Bodies Are, and I it was okay. Like, it was nothing crazy. And then I tried to read a couple more of her books, and I just didn't enjoy them. And like I said, I did not enjoy You Shouldn't Have Come Here. It's about a woman who's, like, overworked. She wants to get away, so she finds this Airbnb kind of out of nowhere. And when she gets there, she realizes she doesn't have cell service and, you know, one thing after the other. But the host is handsome. So since the host is handsome... We're going to stay somewhere where 
we have no sorrow service where it is deserted, but we're going to stay because the host is handsome. And again, great premise, cool. I love a good Airbnb type of situation. Um, but this one just fell short for me because she had all of these red flags, but she continuously stayed because he was handsome. That's how I felt. She was trying to, you know, she was trying to be a hot girl. It was a hot girl summer for her and she was trying to do her, but I just felt like we got all these issues going on yet. You're going to stay even though you see all these issues. And I just felt like it didn't make sense because you got a car, just leave. So I did not enjoy You Shouldn't Come Here by Geneva Rose. I felt like it was a book that actually did not need to be written and I did not have a good time with it. I finished these books and after I was done reading them, I just thought I definitely did not have to read these. I could have let these books go. Um, So yeah, that was You Shouldn't Have Come Here by Geneva Rose. The next book that I gave one star was The Inmate by Big Frida, Frida McFadden. Y'all know I love Big Frida. That's my girl. But The Inmate, of course, all her books are twisty and we're all got our jaw and our mouth wide open. But basically, this book is about a woman named Brooke. She is like a nurse or whatever. She starts working at this um, prison facility. And while she's there working, she um, runs into and finds out that this man Shane is there. And she's actually responsible for him being in jail. It's like, okay. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Again, obviously I read and picked up all these books because they had a good premise, but this book was just like what, to me, this book was so unrealistic. This book was so like left field and Big Freed is left field, but this one just was left field. And then the ending, like really, again, I'm not going to do any spoilers, but I read it in one star because I just felt like it was too predictable. It was too like, really girl, like that's what we doing. Like, this don't make no sense. Like, a lot of the plot just was like, wait, huh? Like, what's happening? A lot of the decisions that Freedom McFadden allowed Brooke to make was just weird. Like, again, I'm not going to go into detail. I really want to. But a lot of decisions that she had Brooke make were just so weird and just not realistic in the least bit. So, I gave The Inmate by Freedom McFadden one star. Two more books, y'all, because like I said, it's not that that many. The next book that I gave one star was The Last Word by Taylor Adams. I was super excited about this book. I have talked about this book quite a few times, and I was really excited to read it. Basically, it's about a woman who reads a lot of books, and she gives a lot of reviews. And I think that this book really spoke to me because I read a lot of books. I give a lot of reviews. So I was like, oh, my God, that could happen to me. So basically, this woman, she um, gave like a couple one-star reviews on this Arthur's kind of like Goodreads. He was very upset and he threatened her. He told her to adjust that rating, switch up the review, make it positive or else. She didn't and then he starts to stalk her again. She's in a secluded cabin doing whatever and he starts to stalk her and he's coming after her because he gave her, because she gave him a one-star review. Sounds awesome. Y'all, when I say I cannot stand this book, first of all, I don't like the way the book was written. I think the premise, like I said, was fun, different, unique, cool, but it just felt flat. And then if you love dogs and stuff like that, the dog was a big part of this book and I just did not like that. But again, I kind of felt like the author was like doing too much. Like, again, doing a lot of things that was unrealistic, like a lot of like, wait, what is happening here? It just fell short for me. Like, I wanted something super thrilling and just borderline horror. Like, you told her to switch it or else. But then I just, it... I feel very passionate about this one star review because I just did not like this book at all. And it's crazy because I enjoyed No Exit by the same author as well as the movie. So I was really looking forward to this book and y'all, it just did not give. It gave very much, I'm good. And I just, I just did not enjoy it at all again if y'all have read any of these books if these are y'all favorite books let me know why maybe y'all can you know change my one star to a two star or a three star who knows but i just did not enjoy any of these books but out of all the books the last words so far is one i did not enjoy 
the the next book is one of us knows by Alyssa cole y'all i was so 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 looking forward to this book it was one of the books that i was looking forward to and anticipated it actually was a book that i read with my book club one of the months and y'all this book felt so flat for me basically it's about the main character she has a um, multiple personality disorder so inside of her is about six or seven different characters which again sounded cool apparently one of this may one of the personalities may have murdered somebody we don't know who so the book took us in a journey of where we're like going back and forth trying to figure out what happened did one of the personalities murder somebody the main character who is um, kind of like walking us through the book she had been dormant for like seven years so she come back and she don't know nothing that's going on so i'm like okay this gonna give y'all when i say this book was it just fell so flat for me first of all i was very much confused and i i can multitask and i can get with it too many characters you had men women children here there old young like first of all too many personalities too many people I had to keep up with. I had to pull out a pen and paper and start writing down names and attributes just to remember who was who. If I got to do all that, now I feel like I'm reading fantasy and I'm going back and forth between the map. I don't want to do that. I don't want to do it. So that was one. Too many characters. I felt like it was a lot of going back and forth. I felt like a lot of the stuff that was happening, I'm like, wait, why? Then she... So basically... Yeah, so basically the book is about this main character who was dormant. She comes back, and when she comes back, they're on the way to this, like, mansion, and she's going to be the housekeeper. When she gets there, she runs into an ex, which is weird. Like, how an ex at this random mansion? But anyway, she runs into an ex, and then again, like I said, she's trying to piece together the pieces of what happened because whatever. Hated it. I hated it and I'm so upset about it because like I said it was one of the books that I was looking forward to most but I absolutely 100% hated it hated it hated it another book that I gave one star was Just the Nicest Couple by Mary Quebecca again this book sounded really good basically it was about a man who disappeared his wife thought that maybe he had just went to blow some steam off and when he didn't come back that's when she got worried and then the friends or whatever are the neighbors they um the wife of the neighbor was actually with him before he disappeared so the whole book is just basically going back and forth the main character the woman is trying to figure out where her husband is whereas on the other end the friends the wife and husband are trying to like i guess keep it a secret and it's like what <laughs> like the premise is cool but the book just didn't carry through i feel like at the beginning i was intrigued i really was intrigued it's a popular book a lot of people talk about it but it was just going around in circles and circles and circles for me and i'm like when are we gonna get to the meat and potatoes like i'm hungry i'm ready to eat where is the meat and potatoes like where is this going like we just gonna keep running around in circles, running around in circles. Like, I did not enjoy it at all. One star. And y'all know I gotta throw this book in. I ain't even read it. It was a DNF, but whenever I can talk bad about this book, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Whenever I can mention this book as a book that I just did not like, it's The Silent Patient by Alice Michelinis. I tried to read this book multiple times. I wanna say more than five times I tr attempted to read this book. I tried audio, I tried Kindle, I tried physical, and I just could not get through this book. This book is praised. So many people like it, but for me, this book is so freaking slow that i can't even fathom reading the whole thing and i know a lot of people was like once you get past this certain part it's real good it's real good i can't get there sis like i can't get there it's that slow for me <laughs> so i know this video may be controversial but i just thought it would be kind of funny and interesting and that's why i like booktube and bookstagram and you know because we all have our own opinions so yeah y'all let me know down below what are some books that you just could not get through? Books that you DNF'd or books that you did make it through but rated really low? Let me know down below what those books are for you. And the next video y'all see, I should be back from Paradise. And um, we'll get back to our regular schedule program. But I wanted to make sure y'all had something to watch, you know? Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, and I will see y'all in my next one. Again, leave me down below the books that you don't like. No judgment zone. <laughs> I love y'all. See y'all on our next video. Bye.
Bye.